Hello, in today's tutorial we're going to look at how to do different styles of border in GIMP. We've got three different styles of borders that we're going to look into today. Style number one is a thick border, style number two is a line border, and number three is the double line border. It's my personal favourite. Okay, so the first thing we want to do in GIMP, we're going to go to Layer, New Layer, and just press OK here. Next, we're going to go up to the top and hit select, hit all. Now we've selected the entire canvas. Now you can go to select, shrink. This is going to shrink the size of the selection by however many pixels we want. I think let's try 30 pixels to start with. Press OK. Now we have a shrunken selection, but the selection is actually the inside of the box and really we want to select the outside. So we're going to go back up to select, incredibly handy tool here, invert. You can't really tell by looking, but now we've selected the outside, not the inside. The next thing we're going to do is go over to the bucket fill tool, click that. If you've chosen your colour you don't have to do this, but if you want to choose a different colour, yeah, let's go with white, press OK, and now just click anywhere in that outside area. There we go, that's the first border style, the thick border. Now moving on to the second border, we're going to do something quite similar. To make this into a line, let's go back up to select, we're going to select all, select everything, then select again shrink just like last time. This time instead of shrinking by 30, let's shrink by 25. This is going to give us a line border width of 5 pixels which is 30 minus the 25. Press OK. Now you can see we've got a little bit more than our border selected which is good. Same again, we're going to go select, invert. Now it's selected the outside and this time we're going to go edit and then clear and that's going to delete that outside area. And there we go, there's uh, border style number two, the single line border. Number three, the double line border, basically going to do the same thing again. So I'm just going to go to layer, new layer, press OK, that's fine. And then again select all, just like last time select shrink. This time instead of going for 30 we're going to go for 60. Let's press OK. Now we've got a smaller area. Just like last time select invert that and again we can use the bucket fill tool anywhere in that area. That's good. Then select all again. Select shrink again. This time 55. Press OK. There we go, that's perfect. Select, invert once again, and again edit, clear. And there we've got our double line border, which looks pretty good to me. I think this is a good effect for lots of graphic design um, menus, business cards, websites, logos, that kind of thing. If you are printing this, be careful about bleed areas with printing. Often you can't have any detail on the very edges of the image because it might get cut off and also it might not be aligned perfectly when you print it. So you might want to check with the printer you're using if this is going to align well because you don't want this border but a few pixels off either way it's going to look really unsymmetrical. Not good. I'm going to teach you one more thing now. If we want to now change the colours of these, it's going to be a bit tricky with the paint bucket tool because it's so small. An easy way to do it, we can right click the top layer of the two, hit merge down. So now these two layers are together, both the outlines, both the border lines. Now we can go to colours and colourise. As I've selected white, if I turn the lightness down, you'll see the colour being affected here. If we leave it as white, you can't really do much. 
um, but now we've turned it down to about minus 0.5, it's a good amount. If we turn the saturation all the way up, we, we can change the colour in any way we want now. So we can go for some really funky designs or something more subtle, more similar to the background. I think we can leave it like that, that looks great to me. Press OK, awesome, I think we're done. So thank you very much. If you found the video useful, please press that like button. It really helps me out. Um, hit subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you very much. Have a great day.